Hi everyone, it's Amber and today I'm going to show you how I made my hoof boots. So let's begin. I started with these boots. These are heelless boots specially made for stuff like this. Please do not cut off heels from real boots. These have some more weight to it to make walking easier. So we're starting out with some paint. This one is a burnt sienna color and for the second paint color I'm using some kind of green. This is more of a green with a bluish undertone and I'm also going to add a little bit of sienna and later some black but I didn't show you that and I'm going to apply it with a sponge. This way you apply it all evenly um, and you don't get brush strokes which is a big problem if you're going to apply it on the same surface as I am which is like a vinyl kind of fabric material stuff. So I'm just dabbing the paint on there, switching between the colors and that also creates a little bit of like a old leathery look. And I believe I also do not show this, but you have to um, apply some kind of a, a final layer, like a transparent layer, some uh, wood glue or anything like that just to protect paint and I am impatient and I'm using my heat gun to dry the paint just be careful to not burn everything which I did on like a small piece and then we're going to do this part I don't know what it's called but yeah just doing the same like I did on the rest of the boot So for the pattern, I taped all around the sole of the boot, this part, and I cut it out. That will give you this kind of pattern. And all you want to do is add a little bit on the front and on the back, just to make it bigger. After I made the pattern, I traced it on Warbla. If you don't know what Warbla is, it is thermoplastic, which also has like a glue surface uh, that gets sticky when you heat it up and it's really easy to work with so I am folding down the middle and I'm also marking where I drew the diagonal line that line you're going to fold to create like the two part front of the hoof of course if you're going to make like a horse's hoof you don't have to do that but I make it inspired by like a deer hoof so that's why that shape is necessary where at this part I would recommend to just take it easy and just work it carefully um, I am just going to start with sticking the warbla in the middle of the shoe and then I'm just slowly shaping the front and I am going to close it in the back Also just something you have to think about is that the warbler isn't longer than the sole of your shoe. So um, just cut it a little bit if it is. Uh, just because you do not want to step on the warbler while walking, uh, that will break it because yeah it sticks by itself but no matter what kind of glue you're using to enhance it, it, it isn't strong enough to just walk in it all day. So when the front and the back are attached, uh, you can just heat up the rest and shape it to your liking.
And to finish the warbler part, I am heating up the back seam and I'm using a exacto knife to just smooth it out. Also for this, please use regular warbler because white or black warbler is not strong enough. So now the warbler part is done, we are going to paint the hoof. I'm using that same burnt sienna color as a base, then I'm going to add a little bit of black and then the same sienna color, the lighter one. And I'm using this with a big dry brush. Uh, you want to use it while it's dry because that's create like the stripey effect. Um, that's really close to like the look or texture real hooves have. Right now the colors look pretty bright, but as you will notice when you use the same colors, uh, that when they dry they get a bit darker and just mute it down a bit. Also, if you want to keep it realistic, I would recommend using only colors that dry in matte and not shiny. But that's up to you! So now it's time for the fun part, adding the fur. This will really make your boots look finished. I am using a fur with really long hairs. This makes it easier to hide all the seams of the warbler in the boot. And so for the fur you also need to make a pattern based on your shoe that you're using. This part needs to be taped in with masking tape. Then you're just going to cut it off, cut it in half and that will give you this pattern. Just cut out this part, mirror it and cut off another part and then you will have all the fur that you need. Here I'm using hot glue. Um, for my other boot I used contact glue and I rather use that um, but I ran out. But either way just use what you like. So as you can see because the hair of the fur is really long it is really easy to blend all the seams and all the edges. To hide the top seams I am applying a satin ribbon and you can use for this whatever you want. You can use some leather or some foam, just what you like and what fits your kind of boot. Also I added them in the laces because I like to match. And now it's time to style the hair with the heat gun and some got to be glued hairspray. And after this, the boot is finished. Now you can be whatever kind of hoofed creature you want to be. I would just recommend that before you're going to wear these for a whole day, just to practice every day for like 10 or more minutes, just pull it up so you don't hurt yourself. So yeah, if you like this video and if you want to see more like this, don't forget to subscribe if you didn't already do that. Thanks for watching and until next time. Bye guys!